Good evening. The Colfax Fall Back to School Night is an annual event that we look forward to every year. The evening's festivities would usually call for a celebration of our students as they would stand on our theater stage and present their involvement in leadership, performing arts, athletics, academics, applied arts, and community service. But tonight is not usual, and this year will require more of our students, staff, and community members than the customary school year would demand. With humble deference to our national and state leadership, we must resist the impassive and apathetic impulse to recriminate, victimize, or scapegoat one another, but rather call on our best selves with resilience, patience, empathy, and service. This is not going to be easy, but I can confidently stand here and say that this community can and will thrive during this pandemic. Your teachers, support staff, parents club, and students are being asked to do more with less, but they are meeting this heavy burden with enthusiasm and a spirit of unity. Over the last few weeks, I've witnessed a zeal for Colfax High School that reminds me that despite this current climate, our culture holds strong. Tonight, you'll hear from students, parents, and teachers, and I ask that you join in their efforts to make this year the very best experience for our children, both academically and socially. I'd like to introduce our board members who are truly committed to this mission. Debbie Branham, David Underwood, Mo Ward, Ron Oates, and Colfax's very own Lynn McDonald. In addition to these dedicated community members, Colfax High School student board member is Sarah Downey. These board members, along with Dr. George Siraki and his leadership team, are meeting each challenge with thoughtful diligence and innovative solutions. I'd also like to introduce the Colfax team, our counselors who put unimaginable hours day and night into individualizing each student's academic endeavors. Sherry Myers and Andrea Moneypenny. And our assistant principal, who I could not do this job effectively without, Denise Hitchcock. And finally, our IB coordinator, halftime assistant principal, and now IB teacher, Annette Udall. Leadership at Colfax starts with our students. And now I'd like to introduce our ASB president and my talented and beautiful daughter, Natalie Lundberg. Hi, my name is Natalie Lundberg, and as my dad said, I am the ASB president here at Colfax High School. Um, as the president and as a student, I totally recognize that there are going to be many challenges we must face this year that are going to be different from the previous years. So the challenges that all schools are facing right now is what makes having a strong leadership program that is committed to school culture and school connection um, so important right now. We help set the tone for the year and make sure that we're creating a school that students are really excited to be a part of. So every year, the Colfax High School Leadership Program creates a vision statement that guides our effort to serve Colfax High School and our community. Um, this year, we had to embrace our reality and ready ourselves uh, to move forward. So our vision statement is, Colfax leadership will continue to build culture by uniting the student body creating lasting, impactful, and positive memories while bettering ourselves and adapting always. Now, you may be wondering, how exactly are you guys planning on doing this? Which is a fair question. Um, but the honest answer is, we don't know. We really don't have all the answers at this point. But the faith I have in my team, my fellow students, our staff, this program, and everything that we've learned from our generation of Falcons um, that have come before us um, really gives me confidence and hope for this upcoming year that we're going to make it special and memorable. So leadership program has an amazing group of students, as I mentioned before, um, who volunteer to be leaders of our campus and who are really committed to our mission of making the school the best that it can be. So we are super excited to take on anything that is thrown our way. Um, and one of the main goals this year is we plan on touching every single life um, 
of every single student on our camp campus. So this year, more than any, we believe that connection is key. Um, and we really want to emphasize reaching out to all students because in a time that we are not all on campus together, we think that human connection is super valuable. So I'd like to end by saying that we are all in this together. We are all experiencing struggles, but I think that if we come together as a Falcon family, really amazing things can come of it. Um, I also don't think that we can allow ourselves to give in to the narrative that 2020 is, oh, it's just a bad year, um, because we, the parents, students, staff, and this community, we have the power to make it exceptional. Finally, I'd like to share what our school theme is for the year. Um, I could just tell you, but with the help of Colfax TV and my vice president, Mary Erickson, I think it would be better just to show you. So um, I'm gonna kick it over to that video and I hope you enjoy. Hey Mary, what's up? Hey Nat, did you get anything done yet? Not exactly. Like, I love our theme this year, but I don't know mm -hmm. why I'm just, like, struggling to put something down for it. I don't know why, though. No, yeah, I feel the same way because it's just so perfect for Colfax. I just don't know how to put it into words, and I can't think of anything either. Like, this should be an easy speech stripe, but I don't have anything. I know. That's exactly how I'm feeling. Like, honestly, if I tried, I don't think I could think of a better theme for Colfax. Like, it mm -hmm. not only touches on who we are, but also, like, who we need to be this year. So it's, like, perfect. Yeah, I know. It really just embodies every aspect of what our school is all about. I Nat? Nat? Power is out! Oh. not agree more mary okay so i'm just gonna write it down and then we can like go from there okay perfect can't ruffle these feathers it is the perfect theme Nat. it shows we can get through anything and i mean anything right like it quite honestly encompasses everything like if i, if I ask you is chs resilient uh duh can't ruffle these feathers or like is Colfax going to be able to stay connected? Uh, yeah. Can't ruffle these feathers. And are we going to get the education we need to take on the world? Uh, of course. Our teachers are working their asses off, Mary. Their feathers can't be ruffled. Yes. And is there still going to be events for the students? Yes. Can't ruffle these feathers. Of course. Are we going to be able to stay spirited as a student body? 100%, Mary. Can't ruffle these feathers. Yes, Nat. And what will we do if something malfunctions? What are we going to do, Nat? We are going to push through because you can't... Mary? Mary, are you there? Mm, Mary? No, you cannot. <sighs> it really is perfect. The Colfax Link program is a unique support system of junior and senior students who mentor our freshmen into the Falcon Nest. Donna Bussinger and Marcy Ortega admirably guide this program 
and set its foundation for our cultural expectations and norms. Hi everybody, welcome to the 2020 Back to School Night. I'm here to talk to you about Link Crew. My name is Marcia Ortega. I am the coordinator for our 50 students who volunteer their time to help your freshmen and your new students. So what Link Crew is all about? Link Crew is all about support. We're all about connecting with and helping those freshmen and those new students and that support can't happen without communication. So our Linklers have been calling and emailing and sending videos to your kiddos. And they really, really are here to help your student transition to this school. So um, we, they want to help teach about the culture. They want to welcome to the nest. They want to do all the things that they can do to support them. So please encourage your freshmen and your new students when they get a phone call or an email from their link leader to reciprocate that. All our link leaders are volunteers. There's 50 seniors, juniors, and sophomores, all a sprinkling of all three. And they, um, they have spent some time in training. Um, all of their work is pretty much volunteer work, but they, they have good advice and they wanna share it with your kiddos, okay? And here's a quick message from them. Have a great night. Mental health support will be vital during this time, and we could not have a more effective and caring mental health team led by our own Carol Lambert. Hi, I'm Carol Lambert. I'm the mental health specialist for Colfax High School. I want to assure you that mental health, social, and emotional supports remain robust and available despite the distance between us right now. In addition to the amazing Colfax family of teachers and staff, the unstoppable support from leadership, link crew leaders, and our peer mentors. I am one more person wanting to help ease your way. So please don't hesitate to contact me if I can support. I'm happy to discuss what's available to help us all keep our falcon feathers smooth and unruffled in these very challenging times. I also want to let you know about the Mental Health Services website. We worked hard over the summer to completely redesign it. It's our goal for it to be a very robust source of resources that you can access from home. I'd like to invite you to spend a few minutes exploring it and then click on feedback and let us know how we can make it even more relevant. You'll find the link on the counseling page of the Colfax High School website. My contact information is there, a discussion about how mental health specialists are supporting our community is there as well as a student self-referral that your students can use if they could use a little help. And a host of videos and articles and links that we hope you'll find relevant and useful in these pandemic times. Together, we got this. We're Colfax, that makes us unstoppable, right? So if your feathers start to feel a little ruffled, reach out. We'll figure out how to get them preened and shiny again. I really look forward to hearing from you. Take care, Colfax. The Colfax Parents Club and Falcon Foundation is teeming with enthusiastic and talented parents. And this year, they are absolutely amazing. Hello, Falcon families. My name is Matt Lee. I'm the president of your Parent Teacher Alumni Club, and we are so excited for this upcoming school year. A couple things about our group, our main focuses are acknowledging and celebrating our students, uh, no matter what group, club, sport you're involved in, uh, making sure that you guys feel valued on campus. Also, we are looking to really acknowledge and appreciate, celebrate our staff and teachers who do an amazing job day in, day out with our students. Uh, lastly, we're really looking to engage our alumni, our parents, our community, to create a great sense of pride in our high school uh, and make sure that everyone feels involved. So if you guys are looking for more information, you wanna get involved with our group, follow us on Facebook, Colfax High Parent Teacher Alumni Club, visit the parent page on the Colfax website, and you can also go and visit our Greenlight store, purchase apparel, rock the school spirit, show your pride in Colfax, um, and make sure that this is an amazing year for everybody involved. So. Have a great school year. Nothing can ruffle these feathers. Hello, Falcon family. I'm Bonnie Starr with the Falcon Foundation, the all-volunteer nonprofit organization that serves Colfax High School. 
Our committees include the Parent Teacher Alumni Club, Grad Night, Senior Scholarships, and Teacher and School Wide Grants. The Falcon Foundation is a group of parents and community members just like you that want to support and serve the administration, staff, and most importantly, students at Colfax. The pandemic hasn't ruffled our feathers. We made sure that the class of 2020 was celebrated with a graduation drive through and received over $50,000 in scholarships. The PTAC has been busy creating spirit wear and welcoming our teachers back. And we plan to get resources to, for the classroom, clubs, and athletics at Colfax High School to make sure that our Falcons continue to have the most amazing high school experience. So join us. We need our next generation of nest protectors. You can go to the Colfax High School website to learn about us. You can visit us on Facebook or you can email us. Our first meeting of the year is September 8th at 6 p.m., probably on Zoom, and we would love to see some new faces. We are Colfax. Although we are currently in a distance learning format, that does not mean we are not focused on student engagement, rigor, and innovation. Oh, anti-federalists would be uh, no masks, and what? federalists would be pro-masks. Why? Why in your opinion? Because with the masks being left up to the states, because it's not mentioned in the Constitution, states can use acts like the Emergency Services Act to um, prove that they have the right to mandate mask wearing. Good, cool, nice job. So to maintain rigor, I think that it really comes down to what are your what are your learning outcomes and connecting those with both relevancy in the students lives and what's going on in the world today um, and and how does that look with the technology tools that are available to us and there's a lot um, and, and meshing those two things together we can still have the rigor that we had when we were in the classroom and maybe even more so because we are using tools that might be awkward to use while we're all sitting in the room together Okay, so looking at that graph, um, I want you to share out with me anything you see that's wrong with it. So go ahead and use your nod extension to raise your hand and share out anything that you see incorrect about that graph. And that means you can see my graph now on my screen. That's awesome. What about my dots? What else could I do with my dots? They're kind of confusing right now the way they're laid out. Connect them. Perfect. I could connect my dots. So I'm not going to connect them to the zero because that wasn't an actual measurement. So I would start right here and I would connect my blue dots. To start with, uh, this view of, you know, 30 faces is rough. So especially if, if you're not, they're muted, you can't hear them. So from this side, it's hard. So my way of dealing with that um, is to mix activities that are, are physical. Like we do two foot dance parties every day. When we have to get up, you have two foot radius to do a dance party, and, and most of them do it, it's awesome. Um, and then we'll do scavenger hunts, we'll do stretches every morning, but trying to fold those moments in with, you know, we've gotta learn how to annotate, we've gotta learn how to meet our English ELOs, and that still has to happen, so I want to break them out into different rooms so that they can discuss, I wanna show them examples, I want to, um, I, I want to use little um, manipulatives like this that I can write all over and dance in front of the screen. Anything I can do to keep their attention while also making sure that they can have a brain break, that they can get up and move, that they can interact with each other. Um, I'm just trying to mix it up as much as I possibly can in the hour that I have with them. Ready? Down one, down two, down three, down four, down five, down six, down seven, down eight, down nine. Y value of five. Okay. And then X value of two, Y value of 25. Yep. X value of three, Y value of 125. Beautiful, right? Paper. <laughs> Lucid. Um, yeah, I just like this one because like one, we could change the color to green and then we could kind of tie it into like, I like how it's like simple so it doesn't take away from what like we're trying to like explain in our pictures and stuff and yes. our stories but also like it can kind of tie into anything we think like if we go off of like can't ruffle these feathers or anything we kind of tie it that in to that so you don't have to feel rushed, you all, if you are having fun just kind of like choosing different random views and you're trying to kind of figure out how to toggle that perspective. I think 
part of the, um, the intrigue of this assignment is that, yeah, you actually get to recompose. And now I ask you to link into your students' classes and actively listen to the greatest teaching staff in the region. There are also breakout sessions that I urge you to watch that include our grading practices with our four-point scale, our counseling services, and our inclusive and equity-based IB program that not only includes the diploma pathway, but also our academic philosophy and our pedagogical approaches for every class. Please know that raising our children takes more than just a caring and talented teacher, but it requires that you work with us and support the process of learning. Thank you, and please don't hesitate to call or email me with your questions. We are Colfax.